Hey everyone, today I'm going to be updating my archive and I wanted to talk about how that works for me. Um, I just sat down for my weekly planning session for week 32 and I did film this plan with me. Here's a look at the current week for week 31. So kind of in real time here, how this works is about once a week I sit down and do a big weekly planning session and try to get everything down for the entire week. So I have an idea of what needs to happen. And then I've been using my daily day designer as my archive, which means I don't really worry about it being um, up to date, like in real time. As I'm sitting down here, this is Wednesday, the 31st. So I don't do a lot of pre-planning or I shouldn't say pre-planning, just planning in general in this. It's more of a go back after the fact and fill it in. So um, today is Wednesday the 31st and you can see here, I don't have Monday or Tuesday in here. That's because I want this to be a completely accurate record of my day. Um, I don't really enjoy the term memory planner because it's not about memories for me. Um, I do include some memory keeping if we take like vacation trips or something like that. Let me see if I can find an example. So on July 18th, we did take like a mini vacation and I didn't have any to do's for the day. So I did fill in with pictures, but this is the planner that I sit down every night and take five to 10 minutes and just jot down what happened in the day so that at the end of the year, I have this completed record that can sit on my desk or on a shelf and I can reference it. Um, I've always had an archive in the past that's been an Erin Condren hourly or vertical um, weekly planner, but I'm trying out the daily option for 24, 25. And this doesn't take long, like I said, five to 10 minutes at the end of the day. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer today because I'm on camera and kind of talking through my process. Um, but I was watching Lindsay Scribbles and she has a desk archive, which is a moleskine planner. And I think that's the perfect way to describe this planner for me also, because I don't take it out of my office. Um, it is a very useful and vital part of my planning system but um, it serves a very specific purpose, I guess, and that's okay uh, with me. So we are going to look at yesterday, which was Tuesday, July 30th, and we're gonna fill in what happened so that my daily record is complete. Now, what I like to do is use the same sticker kit in this planner that I use in my weekly planner. That way I can just have certain stickers out on my desk, and I know no matter what, planner I pick up to update. Um, the stickers are the right stickers. Makes things a lot easier for me. So I don't even know how have I been filling these out. I've been putting the thin washi, well I shouldn't say that, the thin washi at the top and the regular washi at the bottom. And I think we'll go with that. Now I'm only going to update yesterday on camera just for sake of time, but what I do like to do is do both sides, at least the basics. So while I'm putting this washi down, I'll go ahead and put this washi down as well. Same thing with the top. And this one I have been trimming so that you can still see the date. Oops. And then I don't have to put date headers down. Okay, so thinking back to yesterday, I'm gonna kind of work my way in reverse. Um, we played pickleball in the evening. 
and I'm going to use a dash label for that. Um, let's do this small pink one. And then let's see, before pickleball, we were at home and just kind of played some board games together as a family. And I am going to use a doodle sticker for that. Try to find one that matches. And then I'll just hand write in next to that. And then before that, I actually went shopping with my mother-in-law and dropped off some donations. So I'm gonna use a plum paper full box for that because um, that took up most of our day. And we went out for lunch, so that was a nice little trip. You can tell my eye is really bothering me because in all my playing with me videos, I'm having a very hard time putting stickers down straight. Okay. And then really in the morning, um, I just did some stuff around the house, but a lot of that was laundry. And I have a doodle sticker for that as well. Actually, I want an updated version. So these were an older version and they are solid colored. But I think, as soon as I say this on camera, I think I have an updated version in here where it's, um, this is my current favorites and I think they're like more multicolored. Yep, there they are. So this is more of an updated sheet. It's Doodle 156. And we'll go with kind of this teals and greens. And what I did was I washed all of the blankets and the sheets. All right, so that gives me a good look at what actually happened in the day from the morning till the end of the day. And now I can kind of fill out the important to do's. Now, this is where, um, since it is an archive, it is important for me to put down my to-do list because a lot of times my brain fails me and I'll think, did I really get that done? that errand or call that person. And if I have it down and marked off on the right day, I can say, oh yes, I returned that parent phone call on Tuesday, July 30th. So it, it is something that I reference. This is what takes a little bit longer is to think about all the little things that I got done throughout the day. Sometimes that list is already in my traveler's notebook because I have my traveler's notebook with me throughout the day. So I can mark things off and all of that in real time but I do like to take the time to archive that. So we're gonna do that next. And I usually don't, but just for something a little extra, I'm going to use these half dashes to mark the to-do list and cover this top three area. And to keep things consistent, and I have the sheet out, I'll go ahead and just get that ready for Monday as well. Okay, so I'll hand write in top three. And then this will just be to do. And I'm gonna start with uh, my office work that I did in the morning while I was washing the sheets. I am going to put 
wash bedding over here. I know that seems redundant. And while that was happening, I was in my office working and I did some filming. So I did film a Laurel Denise plan with me. So that's gonna prompt me for today, which is Wednesday, to do the editing and uploading for that film um, or that video, but I did get the filming done. I also um, posted the Planner Kate Challenge and the August calendar is out, so I transferred all of those dates to my um, social media planner or content area in my Traveler's Notebook. I also went through all of my work emails and I have kind of a new system for work. I'm using the Laurel Denise planner as my work planner, but I have matching folders and sticky notes that I found on Amazon that I just absolutely love. And I took some pictures of those, but I need to share that. So that's gonna get half of a mark because I took the pictures, um, but I need to edit them and share them like on my Instagram. I also cleaned out my car. It's getting detailed here this week, so I wanted to make sure everything was out of that. I did drop off donations and I needed to text my nephew about some sauce that I bought on accident to see if he wanted it and to see if they needed new new eggs, more eggs <laughs> um, yet. So we did that. And I had to kind of tidy up the chicken coop because we had a storm roll through and it got a little wet and not tidy. So we did that as well. So that's kind of a look at the main things that I did um, during the day for my to-do list. And that is basically how I do my daily archive. So I'll go ahead and do that for Monday. Some days, you know, like Friday, there was um, a lot of stuff that we did out and about, but not a big to-do list. So some of my days don't look very full. Um, there's one that's not, I think, I don't know what happened there, um, but other days are very full. I have lots of stuff going on, so that's okay. I want it to be an accurate reflection of how my day went, and I need rest and slow days just as much as I need to get all the things done days, um, so um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Do you guys use a desk archive or do you have a planner that you archive at the end of the year? Um, I feel like it's a trend that's really picking up in the planner community. What has happened in the past for me is like when we first started planning in 2014, at least for me, I just had one planner. So that became my archive. This is kind of a fun way for me to have a real time planner, <clears throat> which is my traveler's notebook, and then sit down and um, have a separate planner for logging everything that actually happened if that makes any sense at all at least it does in my brain so that's why I do it this way um, but I'd love to hear from you let's have a conversation about archives thanks for being here guys and I'll see you back next time